Yes, sir, man. We're back at it again with another Ultra Roma video. Y'all know what the vibes is, man. We finna go crazy with it. We have some new information for the game. It's not an official release date, but the new information they gave us is also very hype as well. So, of course, if you're excited, make sure you get on there. The thumbs up button for your boy. As you can see, we're over here on the Ultra Roma Twitter, and I will link this down below in the description. But the Ultra Roma Twitter 31 minutes ago tweeted out this. It's a producer message, and they also updated the website, and there's a lot of information that we're going to got to go over in this video. So basically, this producer message is saying that we've seen the feedback y'all gave us for the closed beta test. We're in the lab cooking up the game, making sure that it is an amazing game. So make sure you stay tuned and continuously show your support. That's basically what this is saying. But the real thing that I want to go over, bro, this right here, bro, they gave out so much information on the closed beta test results. And right here, they're basically saying the same thing. You know, we see y'all. We appreciate all the love and support. Make sure you just stay tuned. We want to make this a great game. Now, the closed beta 2, 60,000 people, bro. 60,000 people applied for this game. I'm not going to lie. I got extremely lucky. I got two codes, bro. <laughs> That's how lucky your boy was. So, definitely that was clutch. 3.94 out of 5 players were satisfied with the game that's not bad because when you look at this chart 78 percent of people were satisfied nine percent of them didn't like it and 13 percent of them was like this game's all right i just got to play more to give my feedback so that's not bad almost 80 percent of players enjoyed it which is really good that's really good for the game now they also talked about future improvements for that so we're going to go over that as well like character balance adjustments Although the range of win rates between characters have narrowed since the last time, we will continue to adjust the balance. I need to see all my nerf. We will continue to adjust the performance of the most powerful movement techniques such as restraint abilities and Gravity Girl's floating state while preserving their strengths. Why, why are we touching Gravity Girl? She was perfectly fine. Bro! We need All Might nerfed. Look, bro, I'm not going to lie. If you've seen the All Might video that I dropped, bro, All Might is super free, bro, in this game. Like, it's just an instant W key. You'll win every engagement. So why are we not touching All Might, but we touching Gravity, bro? Come on now. Character control or camera control improvements. We will consider the possibility of further adjusting the speed of the camera field of view to your preference oh my god that is a godsend because first off i'm not gonna lie bro if there was any complaint that i had to give about the beta dog the camera was god awful like no cap especially when i was playing shigaraki and playing more melee best characters bro literally people would just move around me and i could not keep up with them because my camera just can't keep up with especially gravity girl and especially sue you when they're using their movement abilities throughout the whole fight bro i can't keep up with that so thank god they're increasing the speed of the camera movement and we're getting a field of view slider i don't think y'all understand how game changing that is bro fov in any game is, is just amazing so that's a great thing to hear uh, we will consider adjustments to making jumping, dashing, wall climbing more nimble and intuitive. Thank God, bro, because it was not as fluid as it should have been, especially when you're trying to run away from somebody and you hit, like, the area that's, like, the um, the city with the rain in it, bro. If you're trying to do the dash and get away from somebody and climb up a building, bro, the game has to register that you're on the building. So it's like a kind of input lag when you jump on the building, and then you have to climb. It, it was so god-awful, I'm not going to lie. I know it makes it seem like I'm, I'm bashing the beta a lot, but I really did enjoy it. But there is some nitpicks that I have with it. Of course, not every game is perfect. We are planning to improve team disbanding and disengagement operation. Now, I don't know what they mean by disengagement operation. So we're going to have to see more information on that in the future. But thank God for team disbanding. Every single BR has this, bro. If you quit in the middle of the game, you just need to get a penalty, dog. Like, it, it just really, it's so annoying. Because all people, when they do, they think they're him, and they want a W key up until another team, and they get destroyed, and then they just quit. So it, it's just very frustrating. So hopefully they implement that. That that would be really good. Just give people timers for quitting in the middle of a game. That, that's all you need to do. Add additional elements for more diverse strategies. We plan to add elements that create possibility of reversing the situation in a pinch, such as single combat and new options for offense and defense when down. That could be very interesting because I think the only character in the game, off the top of my head, if I remember correctly, and if you played the beta, let me know down below in the comment section as well. But I think the only person in the game that had like an option to defend yourself when you're down was Dobby. Because Dobby would put out this circle um, firewall and any player that got in it or got close to him, they would literally just get insta down. Well, they won't get insta down, but it would do a lot of damage. And by the time a fight's over and someone's pushing you to actually knock you out the game, they're super weak. So Dobby doing that was super strong. Now, the top three characters played in the USA, at least for me, 
Um, obviously, the main character would be number one. That's not a surprise. Bakugo is number two. That's actually pretty close, which is not a surprise as well. Number three is All Might. 12,000 people play All Might. Now, I honestly thought this would be Todoroki because I've seen a Todoroki pretty much every single match, and there were so many of them. All Might's understandable because, like I said in the All Might video that I dropped a while back, All Might's just broken. He, he needs to get nerfed. I'm surprised he wasn't number one because he's literally just a free W key, and you just win every single engagement. It was insane. Top three costumes worldwide. Undefeatable All Might. This is definitely drip. Use this on my All Might. Shigaraki with the hood. I'm not gonna lie. I like this design of Shigaraki more. I'm, I was never a fan of like Shigaraki. He had all those hands on him. That was not drip to me. Maybe I'm just the only one that's like that. Let me know down below in the comment section. And then we have the man himself, Davi in a former suit. Drip God himself. You love to see it. Characters with the highest win percentage worldwide. All Might is 19%. This is the point that I was making earlier, bro. Please, look, I know the self-plug is coming, bro, but look, you, you have to watch the All Might video, bro. It's literally so free. Almost 20% of players in the whole world, bro. That's crazy. And in All Might, bro, I don't, un I understand it. It's All Might, right? Like, he needs to be really strong, but bro, you can clearly tell that he's the best character in the game. Cementos is number two? Let me find out. Anybody that played the beta, Please, I swear to God, I did not see that many cementos in my game. So the fact that he has the second highest win percentage is actually kind of crazy. Um, and of course, Sue is number three. That's obvious. Sue is a really strong character. Um, one of her abilities allows her to go invis, and she can pick up teammates with her tongue and res them instantly. It's actually crazy. Sue's a really good character. But it's not like stupidly overpowered like All Might. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> there's a big disparity of strength between these three characters. Um, understandable is All Might, but they need to tweak him just a little bit. The most wins from a player worldwide was 108. That's crazy, man. That's all basically that we got. You can see, oh, there's no release date. Never mind. I was about to say, there could be a release date right here, but it's not. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. If you did enjoy this, make sure you're down there the thumbs up button for your boy. The only takeaways that I would say from this that's crazy to me is, um, like I said earlier, they just they need to nerf All Might. Not nerf him into the ground, but just make him on the same level as the other characters because he's free. I mean, just go watch the All Might video I'll put on the channel if y'all want to see how broken he is. The only thing that, that was kind of like um, questionable to me, though, was the Gravity Girl. I don't know if this is a nerf, but... Um, they're tweaking her floating state. So we're gonna have to see because I, I like the way Gravity Girl was playing in the beta. So hopefully they don't ruin it that much. But yeah, I will link this website down below in the description and I will also link the official Twitter as well. But that's pretty much gonna be the end of this one. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you get on there and subscribe and hit the thumbs up button for your boy. Other than that though, you know what I'm saying? You know what the vibes is. It's been the Kid Prox and I will catch y'all in the next video.